Of the 108 teriyaki, teriyaki Madness locations, only one is in Montana. Franchisee Aaron Weissman brought the uh, restaurant to Great Falls nearly three years ago and has been sautéing up success for his store ever since. For the past two years, Weissman has held the title of Franchisee of the Year within the T-MAD system. He traded a career in the industrial distribution industry for the food industry and localized a national franchise he thought the people of Great Falls wanted. Although many locations are scattered throughout the country, the Great Falls store is the only location in the northwestern region from Washington to North Dakota. Having no prior food industry experience himself, Wiseman said his staff is the ingredient he needs to achieve. Our biggest piece of advice is you're always hiring and you're as good as your staff. We've got a great staff here at Teriyaki Madness. I've got uh, a number of employees that really care about customer service and making wonderful food. And without the people that uh, work here, we wouldn't have anything. You can see Wiseman and his staff in action at Teriyaki Madness on the corner of 17th Street and 10th Avenue South. Well, despite a small warm up today, our Storm Tracker weather team is still focused on some very cold air heading our way soon. So, Brandon, the next round of Arctic air is heading our way this weekend. Yeah, tomorrow not looking too bad, but by Sunday, pretty much everybody going to be under some very cold air. Let's take a look at what we're currently dealing with here in Great Falls. 27 degrees. That's as warm as it's been all day, so definitely a little on the cool side. But we do have uh, the south wind at 15 miles per hour. That's going to help keep us mild tonight and help warm us up a little bit tomorrow. So again, the cold air not quite here yet. Overnight tonight, I really don't expect temperatures to be falling in Great Falls whatsoever. Going to be holding steady right around 27 degrees. At times, we might even uh, d gain a degree or two. And for Saturday, not looking bad either. Mostly cloudy, maybe a flurry here or there, but near average for our high temperature. But let's look ahead a little bit farther. Because we're going to see our temperatures peak Saturday and then pretty much fall from Saturday night all the the way through the day on Tuesday. We should be falling below zero sometime Sunday afternoon to Sunday night. And yeah, we're going to hit low temperatures in Great Falls that are pretty close to about 20 below by the time we get to Tuesday or Wednesday. So serious cold heading our way next week. And we're going to have a lot more on that cold heading our way coming up later in the show. All right, thanks, Brandon. The Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services has created a new Early Childhood and Family Support Division. The new division will consolidate several programs such as child care licensing, early childhood services, child nutrition programs, and home visiting child health programs. The goal is to improve collaboration while aligning funding, priorities, and practices. New Administrator Jamie Palaji says early childhood experiences play a huge role in the success of a person, and combining the services under one division will help the state better support families. We also know that little kids spend most of their time with their families, as they should, and so we want to make sure that we're supporting parents um, in the very best way possible to make sure that the family thrives and that kids have what they need to thrive um, at a very young age, and then also so that they're school ready. Around 100 employees will be under the new division. No jobs were threatened and no positions were cut. The state says the creation of the new division is budget neutral for DPHHS. Well, up next, Montana lawmakers meet for some big picture discussion. We'll preview their week in the Capitol next. Powered by the Montana Television Network, the 530 News continues on KRTV, Montana's news leader. Montana's full legislature meets in regular session only in odd-numbered non-election years when it sets the state budget and deals with other policy matters. But next week, most of the legislature is coming to Helena for a special set of big picture policy meetings. MTN's chief political reporter Mike Dennison tells us why and what to expect. It's called Legislative Week, and while lawmakers are required to attend, most